just in case you didn't know, I have an online class happening in April for just 8,000 Naira and $12. You can register from anywhere in the world. Make sure that you see the details on the flyer and register or check our Instagram page at Glam by Omoye. Thank you so much. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Omoye, the creative director of Glam by Omoye. First of all, do not forget to subscribe, like and share this video. I'm going to be showing you my eyebrow routine from november 2022 and i'm very sure that it would still serve each and every one of you i'll be doing a current one very soon so i'm going to use my Mirac cosmetics puff this puff comes in your setting powder so when you're buying a setting powder you're buying more than just a setting powder i'm going to use my cindy's creation eyebrow gel you can use any other good eyebrow gel that you have just make sure that it dries mattes any eyebrow gel that doesn't dry matte is not good enough so I usually use either Darmel Braumatic or any other one that dries matte really and Cindy's is also good. So I'm going to be using my spoolie to just apply it on the eyebrow just to brush the strands of hair. I will brush it in the upward direction. Even if you are going to do a slant arrangement, still make sure that it is in the upward direction and then you must wait until it dries. Then I'm going to go into my Hegai and Esther eyebrow definer in ebony then i would use also my mirror cosmetics brush it's an angled brush that is very thin and it is the best for this so i draw the bottom line all the way to the end but i make sure that i stop somewhere in the middle i do not connect the line all the way to the front then i'll be taking my roll-up pencil this one i'm using is from slime beauty you can use any other one that you know that is good i know the ones from shop dd beauty co they are also very good any other roll-up pencil that will serve this purpose so i usually use it to fill in my eyebrows after drawing the lower line i do not draw the lower line and the upper line immediately i draw the lower line first of course, make sure to fade it off when you're getting to the front. Do not take the lower line all the way to the front. Then use your roll-up pencil to fill in the eyebrows. You can see how I'm filling it lightly. This is so that it can give me hair-like strokes so it can look as natural as possible. I usually fill the eyebrows all the way to the end. And then I'll go ahead and draw the upper line now. I'll go back into using my Mirac Cosmetics brush, this angled brush, and I'll draw the upper line from the end. So I link the line from the end all the way to the front. Then I use my pencil just to fill in whatever hole that I find especially in the middle while filling in i always make sure that i feel the end to be darker than it looks in front because i need my eyebrows to be really really natural in front and then have some sort of depth in the end now to highlight the eyebrows i'm going to be using my kevin o'coin concealer in number 12 and my tarte concealer in number 53 then i'll be using this flat and round brush from cindy's creation to highlight your eyebrows you must make sure that you are using a concealer that is close to the skin not too bright gone are the days when we use extremely bright concealers to highlight the eyebrows now just make sure that whatever shade you are using is close to the skin and also has a yellow undertone you would notice that your eyebrows would look really really good when you do that so I'm using this brush from Cindy's Creation because it is very flat. I also love the brushes from Mirac Cosmetics as well because they are also very flat but they are squared. So whichever brush you prefer, if you want to use a squared brush then go with Mirac Cosmetics. If you want a round brush then you can go with either Y Glam or Cindy's Creation. Then I'll blend downwards. Next up, I'll be using my Beauty Line by Diddy brush in the style D10. I'll be using this brush just to blend the concealer out all the way to the front. Just by patting, do not sweep it from side to side. Just pat on it and you'll see that it will blend immediately. And that's basically all. I do not highlight the top of my eyebrows. I always make sure that the top is just as good and does not really need any further highlighting. Notice the fact that the end of the eyebrows are darker than the front. So I hope you guys loved this. I'll definitely be showing you guys my 2023 routine, which is the current one that I use now. But I still know that this one from 2022 will still be very, very helpful and useful to a lot of you so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and also share the video i'll see you guys in my next video bye